Hey kids! Hi classmates! Okay, so we're here to teach you how to get the GCF or the greatest common factor using three methods. And what are those three methods? Listing method, prime factorization, and continuous division. Alright, are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, so we use the three methods to find the GCF of 27 and 45. By the way, what do you mean by the GCF or the greatest common factor? Well, the greatest common factor or the GCF of two or more numbers is the biggest or largest number that can divide the given numbers. So, you can think of factors as divisors. Para mas madali nyo siyang maalala. Okay? Okay, so let's start. Let's get the GCF of 27 and 45. The first method is the listing method. So, we try to list down all the factors, or should I say all the divisors of 27 and all the divisors of 45. Okay, let's do it. So, I have here 27. So, what are the factors of 27? You may do like this. Start with 1, diba? It's 1 times 27, right? What else? You cannot have 2 as a factor of 27 or as a divisor of 27 okay what's next ah three you can have three so it is three times nine what else Wala na. so these are all the factors of 27 so you may want to write here 27 the factors of 27 are 1, 3, 9, 27. Okay? What about 45? Okay? So, start again with 1. 45 is 1 times 45. Can you have 2 as a factor of 45 or as a divisor of 45? No. Okay? So, the next number is 3. 3 times what? 3 times 15. Right? What else? You cannot have 4. Diba? You cannot have... Ah, 5. 5 times what? 9. Right? Okay, so for 45, the factors of 45 are... 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, 45. Okay? So, we were able to list down all the factors of 27 and 45. Now, we're going to look for the greatest common factor. So, asan yon? Here. Okay? That's the largest number that can divide both 27 and 45. So, we say the GCF is equal to 9. Alright? So, that's how you use the listing method. Now, we move on to the second method, which is prime factorization. So, again, we're going to find the GCF of 27 and 45 using prime factorization okay so again what is a prime number a prime number has factors one and itself okay yun lang yung factors ng isang prime number for example two the factors of two are one and two okay one and itself okay so let's start with 27 so, this is how you do prime factorization. Okay? Think of two numbers 
when you multiplied, the answer is 27. It is 9 times 3. Right? Okay. You stop when it's already a prime number. So 3 is a prime number because the only factors of 3 are 1 and itself. 1 times 3, right? So you stop here. But 9 is not a prime number. So you continue. 9 is 3 times 3, right? Okay, so you stop here because they are all prime numbers, right? Okay, the second number is 45. Okay, think of two numbers. Now, when you multiplied, the answer is 45. So, maisip nyo, ah, um, 5 times 9. So, you stop here because it's already a prime number. And 9 can still be written as 3 times 3. And then you stop because they are all prime numbers. Okay, so paano maghanap ng GCF using prime factorization? So, ganito. 27 is equal to, you write all the prime factors of 27. So, it's like 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, what about 45? It is 5 times 3 times 3. Ngayon, Kapag may kapareho, ia-align ninyo. Like that. Times 3. Right? So, you align them. Okay? But you have 5 here. So, you make another column for 5. Okay? Huwag niyong ia-align dito sa 3 na to. Kasi magkaiba sila. Alright? Okay. And then, here's how you find the GCF of 27 and 45. You bring down the complete column or complete columns. Okay? Asa nyo? Yung kompleto. So, ito, kompleto. So, bring down natin. Ito rin, kompleto. Right? So, bring it down. So, you have 3 times 3. So, the answer is 9. This is the GCF. Okay? Using prime factorization. I hope it's clear. So, this is the last method, the continuous division. So, let's find the GCF of 27 and 45 using continuous division. Okay? Let's do it. So, let me write 27 here and 45. Like that. Okay, so can you think of a number, okay, that can both divide 27 and 45? Any number, okay? For example, you think of 3. Yes, 3 can divide both 27 and 45. What is 27 divided by 3? It is? 9, right? What is 45 divided by 3? It is 15. Can you still think of a number that can divide both 9 and 15? Yes, meron pa, di ba? 3. 3, so pwede nyo pang ituloy. You divide again. Okay? So you write 3 here. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3, you get 5. Okay? So, I think wala nang makakadivide kay 3 and kay 5. So, you stop dividing. The GCF is eto. Okay? You get the product of the numbers here. So, you will get 3 times 3, you get 9. So, you say the GCF of 27 and 45 is 9. Okay? That's it. So, it's up to you to choose which method works best for you. Alright?
My little boy will do this exercise. Please feel free to pause this video to solve this problem on your own. Well, good job. Thank you guys for watching. See you in our next video.